Hello, everyone. This is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we're briefly going to discuss about 12 different coats of arms in the Barry family. The first is blazoned, gules, three bars or, crest, a griffin's head erased per pale indented argent and gules. This coat of arms was found in Barry Neighbor, East Ley, and Lobb in the county of Devonshire, England, and we know that Ralph de Barry possessed Barry Narbor in the 13th century and a younger branch of the family established itself in Moland, and one of its members included the naval officer Sir John Barry. Next we have a similar coat of arms, a Barry of 10 or angules, and the source records the location as Baron Kerber, which is almost certainly a typo probably should be Barry Narber, just like the last one. Next, we have Ermine on a bend and grailed sable, three fleur-de-lis or. This coat of arms was from Burley in County Devon, England, as well as associated with the Barry family of Ashwell in Rutland and in Eston in the county of Lincolnshire. And a similar coat of arms for the Barry family in Warlingham in County Suffolk and Barry of Queenborough in County Leicester. Ermine and a bend azure, three fleur de lis or. Coat of arms for a member of the Barry family in Penzance County Cornwall, England. Sable, a chevron and grailed ore between three plates, each charged with the cross pate gules. This was from Toddington and County Bedford, England, and belonged to the Barry family in 1566. They descended from Roger Barry of Barry Hall in Lancashire, who was born around the year 1426. And had a son named John and a grandson named Humphrey Barry. Next we have quarterly first and fourth gules, three bars or a trefoil svert for difference for Barry. Second and third argent a lion rampant gules de bruised by a bend azure charged with three escalops or for gibbons. Cress First, a griffin's head and neck per pale indented gules and charged with the trefoil counterchange for difference for Barry. Second crest, a demi lion rampant azure holding in his paws an escalop or. This coat of arms was exemplified to James William Middleton Barry, Esquire of Bally Nagel in County Westmeath, Ireland granted in the year 1848. Quarterly, first and fourth, vert across crosslet argent, second and third, per pale argent and sable, on a chaplet, four mullets counterchanged for nairn of Sanford, crest, a demi-lion rampant gules, holding in his dexter paw a cross crosslet fitchy azure. This was the coat of arms of John Barry, born 1725, of Tayfield, formerly of Westerbogie, County Fife, Scotland. His wife was Isabella Law, the granddaughter and representative of Margaret Nairn of Sanford. Next we have Argent, chevron between three horses heads gules. And I wasn't able to find much information on this one. If you have details on this, please post in the comments. Next, vert, a cross crosslet or, and this was recorded as being present in Oxfordshire, England. 
and was also found in Little Island, County Cork, and Curra Bridge, County Limerick, Ireland. And we know that the family descended from Phineas Barry, who married in 1634 of Little Island, County Cork, the son of John Barry of Shannon Grove. Next we have Argent, a Barberry branched fruit proper. And again, if you have any information on this coat of arms, please share it with us in the comments. Next, quarterly ermine and azure in the second and third quarter and eagle volant ore. And lastly, this monstrosity of a coat of arms, ermine on a fess and grailed azure, three fleur de lis ore in chief, two branches of palm and satire vert, and base a sphinx couchant proper crest between two wings elevated ermine and eagle's head cooped at the neck gorged with an eastern crown or in the beak a palm branch vert. This coat of arms was granted to Rear Admiral Sir Edward Barry, the first baronet of Caton in the county of Norfolk, England in the year 1806. If you enjoyed this video, please visit coadb.com and click on the link up top that says genealogy research. As you learned in this video, one surname can have tons of different coats of arms associated with it. So don't just pick any old coats of arm that has your surname on it. We piece together your family tree to determine which, if any coat of arms, belonged to your ancestors. Thank you.